everybody. Welcome back. Joining me this morning is Vivian Young from Wildcat Bluff. I Hearing would know if we, were, if we were standing by if I had my earpiece in. <laughs> Vivian, thanks for joining us this my morning. My pleasure. I Thank appreciate you. it. Now, you, if you haven't been to Wildcat Bluff, it is gorgeous. And I wanted you to do the interview with me so you can see what's out there. Yes. Because I think you would really enjoy it. Talk to me first about the area. Uh, we've got about 645 acres of wild land mm -hmm. and uh, so we've got mesquite and now we've got incredible lush growth with all this rain we've oh been yeah. having um, we've got two sections one is 640 acres of rough trails is about five miles of trails in there and then Libs Trail is a paved area five acres which is like a microcosm mm -hmm. of the rest of the section and uh, it's paved so it's accessible to strollers wheelchairs people who might not otherwise be able to get out on the land. And it's fun just to go out there and just be, and Absolutely. be with nature. But there's a lot of events going on, too. You guys have a mothing event coming up. Yes. Tell me about that. Yes. Well, the Discovery Center has invited uh, Chris Grinter, who's with the Denver Museum of Science and Nature. And he's, it's, did you know it was National Moth Week next week? I did not. I didn't. But now I do. Now we do. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, and so he's coming out. He's going to be doing a lecture starting at 7 at the Discovery Center. Mm -hmm. And then um, everybody's going to jump in their vehicles and head on over to Wildcat Bluff. And at about sunset, so about 9 o'clock, we'll all be out looking for moths. Now, we've seen right. some amazing moths out there uh -huh. recently. A uh, witch moth, which is about this size. Oh. Okay. Yeah, gorgeous <laughs> creature. That's a big. Okay. And uh, hummingbird moths that are just oh. fabulous. Well, you're about to see some video of the Wildcat mm. Bluff Trails because we went out there and got a look at it. There's also some kids' camps out there happening now. Yes, we've got summer camp. We're in the middle of our second summer camp right now. Mm -hmm. And next week, we've got one that's um, it's called Animals of the High Plains. So each day, we take a different animal type of the high plains uh -huh. Thursday we're gonna go fishing nice. um, and that's for nine to eleven year olds mm -hmm. and then the following week we've got insects and their relatives now, I don't know if you remember but we had lots of amazing insects yeah. out there right now <laughs> like I had the other day I had a huge lubber on my hand lubber grasshopper uh -huh. exquisite creatures so that should be really fun and that's from seven to uh, nine-year-olds. Okay. Some great pictures going on right here. It seems like the oh, kind yeah. of place that when you go, no matter how many times you go, you're going to find something new or experience something new? Absolutely. I mean, I go out every morning mm -hmm. and I, my, so my job, part of my job is in the mornings I go out and see what I can see. I take my little camera with me and then I post on Facebook. We've got marvelous, uh, uh, we've got a great Facebook community. Yeah. I, and so I post images of what I've seen that morning. There's something new every day and the community is invited to come out and bring some food on a certain night of the week right and just mm -hmm. kind of watch mm -hmm. the sun go mm -hmm. down Wednesdays we have we sort of started it by accident after the rain so we thought wouldn't it be nice to invite people out to see mm -hmm. the rain you know what's happened with the rains and the wildflowers but I got the date wrong so we had to have two uh -huh. and then people started to say well we want to keep doing this so now we have a really great community it changes all the time we've got some solid core people who come out have wine soft drinks um, bring food and we, we do an activity for the kids out on Libs Trail and the, I make sure the adults join in uh -huh. and, um, and we've got all sorts of other things that we do on those Wednesday nights like last week we had a a photography class with Jim Livingston which had 25 people came just for that it was extraordinary uh, last night we had our 22nd birthday party uh, next week we've got the folks from respectful revolution who are touring the country interviewing people who are making a difference in the world and they're gonna come and talk to us about what they're up to and so it's just a it's a wonderful evening. I never know what quite what's going to happen. Right. Always the perfect people are there every time. It's well, just great it's fun. It's working. Some fun yeah. stuff happening at Wildcat Bluff. As you said, follow them on Facebook because you do a great job at keeping folks up to date with what's going yeah. on. But thank you so much for coming. Thank, thank you. Thank it's you, a you pleasure. very much. You're awesome. It. Thank you very much. Steve?